hello so in this video we are going to see how we can decide the value of this register so it is expected that uh, you know the color code we can use the color code table to know the value and calculate the value of this register in hand so what we see here in this register is a four band register so the first band is brown the next to it is red again third color band is red and then there is a gold so whenever you see gold or silver band you will start from the opposite end to calculate the value of a register not from this end so when there is a gold or silver band that's a band for a tolerance so we start with this one so it's a four band register sometimes you will have five bands or six bands usually you will come across a register with four bands or five bands so let's start to calculate the value of the register the first color is brown so we'll write the value of this color brown from the color code table so here you go to calculate the value of a register so the first color is brown as we said before and the value from the color code would be 1 then the second color is red the value of it would be 2 and the third color is red so third color is the red is called as multiplier and the value of it is 10 to the power 2 which is 100 so the total value of this register in ohm would be 1 2 0 0 ohms or you can say that the value of a register is 1.2 kilo ohms now the final band is of color gold so remember the value of a gold is a band for a tolerance so the, this register will have a 5% tolerance this register will have a 5% tolerance so here you can write since it is gold so 5% tolerance so the 5% tolerance of this register says that the register will have a minimum value of 1140 ohm to 1260 ohm so minimum it can go to 1140 ohm and maximum it can go to 1260 ohm now we have calculated the value of this register from the color code so how to verify the theoretical value that we calculated for this register is actually 1200 ohm or 1.2 kilo ohm so for that you can see we can use the digital multimeter so currently it is switched off i want to measure the resistance so i have a setting here ohm so i will turn it on and keep it to the setting ohms and now it is set to the automatic mode so i haven't selected the resistance range it means i have an option to select the resistance range if i already know in what range the register to be measured can fall in if it is ohms kilo ohms mega ohms giga ohms etc so i will just focus and keep it at as a auto ohm and now i can let me let me just zoom in little bit it shows me that this is a setting here it will measure the resistance in mega ohm but up to mega ohm so now what i'll do i will take this resistor in hand and i have these two probes which are connected to the multimeter right here you can see that the resistors the red probe is connected to the v voltage ohms and milliampere setting and the black probe is a common one so always have this setting and the knob is set to ohms now the register in hand can be connected this way or this way remember why i can switch the terminal because it's 
it 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 doesn't have a polarity the resistor is a passive element and doesn't have a polarity such that positive or negative so i can connect e the probes to either ends and check the value and now i see there is a reading variation so i'll hold firmly and i see the value is 1172 ohms or 1.172 kilo ohms so which is pretty close to the value i calculated with hands or from the color code so the value i calculated is 1200 ohms and the value i am measuring is 1172 ohms so there is a difference of 28 ohms so why is this difference is because of the tolerance remember the readings we have noted on the notebook the value can vary from 1140 to 1260 so the measured value falls within this calculated range the calculated range is 1140 to 1260 and the measured value is 1172 so that's the way we can calculate the value of the resistor by inspection by using the color code and to verify the we can perform the experiment use the digital multimeter and have the setting as shown take the resistor in your hand connect the probes to at each end of this terminal and verify its value so this is the simple experiment you can perform over any any resistor and you can know the value of the registers